Hello my friends and welcome back to Reverse Starcraft 1. We're jumping into the Zerg campaign, Among the Ruins, where we have to wipe out any Terran who pose a threat to the Chrysalis. But, uh, but on opposite day. <laughs> there, I salvaged it. We're getting distress calls from several of the fringe colonies. The Zerg have initiated a new offensive, and Protoss warships are wreaking havoc on some of the outer worlds. I'll patch you in to the Emergency Planning Commission. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD 2. We've crash landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is a priority one distress call. All right, let's save our boy Duke. Sounds good to me. Okay, some of these guys mining. Let's take stock of what we have. We got a wraith, we got a missile turret. Lieth on that, and some stuff over here. Cool. How much? How much do they have? Are they really building up right now, like through the tutorial? Uh. All right. I. <laughs> all right. I. I have a plan. You know what? As your forces grow in number, you must. Can we just pull the boys and win? <laughs> I mean, we can always restart if it doesn't work. Let's, uh... <laughs> Does he, like, not have a spawning pool? Oh, there's a spore up there. Um. Alright. Feel guilty. <laughs> He's just learning how to play Zerg, and I cheesed him. <laughs> oh, we had a guy under there. <laughs> I saw us. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Destroy the Zerg threat. Okay. They're not even going to get to the three minute mark. <laughs> Good thing they put these sunken colonies in here for defense. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be the video for today. <laughs> Done. I'll see you in <laughs> okay, let's do mission two. <laughs> I wonder if we could just do that again. Sector and Taro Adun, it is good to see you once more upon the field of battle. And Taro Adun, Executor, I am Judicator Aldaris. I have been sent by the Conclave to serve and counsel you. The former Executor, Tassadar, was commanded to halt the Zerg progress in the Terran Sector by burning the infested human worlds. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates, and the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tacitar may be right. If you can keep the Zerg occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the Abomination. Okay. Executor, we are in position. I await your orders. That was very fast. Okay. Let's do it. Alright, what do we got here? We have a scout, and we are the bottom base. Alright. Uh, I guess we want to send our guys up there. I'm keeping the opportunity open. <laughs> if the game lets us. They will serve you unquestioningly. Go now. And bring swift wrath to all who would oppose the swarm. I don't really have much. I mean, alright. <laughs> I mean, we're. 
<laughs> if the Zerg isn't going to build defenses, I'm not going to sit there and let them. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but they're not... They're not stopping me. Pull this guy back a bit. Oh, Zerglings. We should be able to crush those. Try not to take any damage, and... Get these on up. And let's just take it down whatever we can. I mean, we're not guaranteeing a win here or anything, but... Bully those Zerg. So our objective is to... It said Chrysalis, right? Do not let the Chrysalis reach the beacon. Destroy the Chrysalis. Got it. I mean, this seems to be working towards that goal. So, Actually, let's take this base up here. Actually, let's scout this base to make sure that it has actual money on it, because it doesn't look like it has much. It could be one of those ones that has like three mineral patches, at which point I'm not that enthralled. Okay, so we don't have any Dark Templar. We have everything. <laughs> oh! Oh, uh, I don't know if we have all the Robotech. Yes, yes we do. We have everything on mission two, sure. Oh, the enemy is not happy with this. But they're going... They're going the other way. That's an attack. All right. Sure. We're going to keep going, then. Send that guy over there. Okay, they're actually sending people to help out at this point. And, hey, that's a decent base. We'll take it. Uh, looks like this is the end of that, but we got a hatch. Let's just let's just check out what the chrysalis is like. Can we just kill it with a scout? <laughs> I can't imagine, but I kind of can imagine. No, invalid target. Okay, I think that we have to kill the opponent's base, and that means that it is time to grab this base. Keep building up an economy. Oh. Well, my ally is going to have to deal with whatever happens for a little bit. And that's all right. They're big and powerful, and honestly, we stopped the opponents enough. <laughs> we did our job. It is fun having a lot of stuff at the start, so you can just, like, do something. Okay, uh, the hunter killers are coming. They've taken out the defenders and the cannon there. Zerg drone is actually bringing the objective to us, so I think that we're going to have to to start uh, making a decent number of gateway units really, really quick. It's a very small map, which makes me think that we don't have a whole lot of time to build up stuff. Additionally, I don't think the carrier is a very good unit. Like, we definitely have it, but it is not what you want against Zerg. Uh, the Corsair, unfortunately, is a thing. Or, er, not the Corsair, the Scourge. The Scourge is a thing, and we don't have Corsairs because we're not... Okay, so it goes away. Does it go back home? Like the battlecruiser? I wouldn't put it past it. Take the space. Yeah, so... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, no Corsair. Which means that we can't really deal with Scourge. So we just have to not build our units. Gonna get a really good economy. Going to push out a lot of gateway stuff. Uh, maybe a little bit of Zealot Archon. Archon's very nice against Zerg. We talked about that before. And I, uh, I can prove it, in case you don't believe me for some reason. Now, the real Giga Chad move is to retake the, or take the Nexus right here and share with them. <laughs> See if they know. I mean, what if they don't notice? <laughs> they didn't seem that enthralled in defending the area. <laughs> what if this is the play? <laughs> We could cannon rot. I'm getting shield upgrades. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the plan has changed. I don't know what I'm going to use this gas for, but I'm cannon rushing. <laughs> I mean, when the opportunity presents itself, how could you not? We'll send these guys over to help defend the cannons as they get built. And I don't really have a step past that. Let's get a uh, Dragoon range. <laughs> no way is this gonna work. 
This is so stupid. <laughs> Who let me open StarCraft? What fool thought this was a good idea? Yeah, I don't think they have vision of this. Whoa. Whoa! Aww. The enemy's army size has increased fairly dramatically, fairly quickly. Not really a fan of that. Back. Fortunately, these zealots are Giga Chads, so it might be okay. Maybe. It looks like it's enough for my ally to eventually clean this up, but wow, that's, uh. That was a lot of guys. Also, I just keep building probes and I need to stop. It's too many probes. Oh gosh. They're really, uh, they're really something here. They are not a fan of my cheese. And we don't really have much we can, you know what? Robo. <laughs> Robo. <laughs> Build some reavers. Then the mutas can't stop us. It's, uh, <laughs> of all the strategies, this is legally one of them. You can't deny it. You can deny that it's good. You can deny that it's smart. You can deny that any brainy human would ever come up with it, but you can't deny that it is a thing that I am doing. I'm a little bit afraid of this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna build like a cannon right here. Just... That'll protect me. <laughs> okay, so we're getting a couple dragoons out. Those are gonna help with something. We're getting our shield upgrade for our cannons. I guess we can get the Robo Bay over here. We don't need to proxy that. And then, yeah, I guess we'll get a shuttle. Shuttles are good. I know that they unlock mutas on this mission because I always am like, why do you have mutas on this mission when I play it? And then I win at the 30 second mark because it's aggression, but uh, I'm just making sure that those don't, don't bedazzle me. Make sure we get the Scarab Damage upgrade. I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of use for the Scarab Capacity upgrade, but damage sounds good. And then we're just going to push out Reavers and slow push this area to death. They're not mining. They seem very confused. Like, what is this nerd doing? Yup. There's the Muta. I mean, we fought. It's not a surprise. Upgrade complete. Okay. What upgrade finished? I think that was Goon Range. Yeah, Goon Range. Oh, they're making a lot of Mutas. <laughs> they seem to be like, okay. Uh, we know that they have, like, little map hacky cheaty things to counter us. So, they're probably hard countering Big Reaver. But little do they know. Photon. Ooh. Where's my... Oh, here he is. Well, oh, that's a lot of hunter killers going to the and or my ally. I don't like that. I'm just gonna keep building these. Uh, we probably only need like six or so reavers. Yeah, this many reaver sounds good. And then actually, we're gonna send these guys down south to protect our allies as the reavers and the cannons keep doing their thing because I don't want my allies to die, and they seem to be really good at it. We really need the creep to start receding. Let's see. Scarab capacity. Whoa! It's a lot of mutas. But as long as we keep building cannons. 
I don't know where their spire is. Oh, I guess we dealt with that stuff. Uh, that is upgrading to a hive. And we are getting to the point where we are just completely running out of cash. Like, it's going down instead of up. So, no more reavers. <laughs> this is working, though. Oh, they got double spire. Well, seems like they're going to be double upset then. I'll be honest, the shield upgrade rush, it's been working. These guys have not been dying. Well, let's see if we can. Yeah. Full strike. Hit all the pins at the same time. Well, we need a couple more shots as a spare. You're not producing while I'm here. <laughs> okay. So do we just do we just worm our way up here? Oh, where is it? Oh no, it's right there. Still can't attack it. I guess we got to eliminate. But they don't have any hatcheries. Well, they're trying. Jokes on you. If you use your last drone to turn into a hatchery, you're going to lose this game. Is that their last drone? I want to let them try. I'm going to give them the opportunity. Wouldn't that be funny if it worked? What? That's unfair. Why does it eliminate the player? Now <laughs> oh, what do we do? Do we have to, like, move a guy on to the point? Do we have to pick it up? Do we need someone with arms? You have little hands. Little hands. Oh, okay. A, like, defense wave thing spawns in. And then you're holding it. And then do we just... There we go. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what the trigger was, but we got it. All right, let's do another one. It's been 17 minutes and we've beaten two missions. <laughs> Which one is this? Uh, the new Dominion. Destroy the Chrysalis. All right. It's just, it's Chrysalis o'clock here. This is not what this map looks like. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, wait, no, the new Dominion. I know this mission. Sorry, I was thinking of mission number four, which is when uh, Kerrigan hatches. Okay. Short and sweet, just like you, Duke. So this is a heck of a base that we have to start with. Also, I always love <laughs> this base is populated by a starport. I mean, we have a siege mode. I wonder if we can put this in a better spot. What else do we have? A little bit of Wraith action. Uh, are you filled? No. You're a Ragnosaur. Don't care about that. We are definitely missing a lot of our starting forces here, taking a look at it. But uh, let's just go somewhere smarter. I don't need a deeper right now. Yeah, we can just siege up and take this down. See if we can stop them from taking this base. If you have siege tanks, you might as well use siege tanks. That's uh, one of those Terran philosophies. And we'll just sit here. So is this base... Yeah, it's taken. Oh, ow. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the way this is going already. I'm not going to be too fussed about the details. Though, I would really like to get vision... There we go. Just slowly push them back. That is what the tank is for. I pulled the Wraith. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, no. 
Wraith, no, old position! No! Wraith, all of you. How could you? Sad that we lost Wraith all of me right there. Yes, he was pretty important. We're gonna get his brother scan all of you. Oh uh, yeah, we can lift a starport all of you as well. It's a it's a bit of a weird family tree, but it works. And we're gonna get Marines. We'll go Marine tank, even though it's not like what you're supposed to do when you don't have medics. It's fine. The reason it's fine is that I said so. And, uh, I'm an authority. How did that... I guess it just didn't fire. The tank shot. They at least finish it off. There you go, you got it. Beautiful. Okay, you're building that. We're going to go to the engineering bay and get an academy. Almost have our expansion out. You can start building more tanks. And you can come on over here. We're going to grab lots of scans because scans are just great. They're my favorite unit. Here we go. So now we don't really have to pay attention to what's going on up here. Do we hit this? Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> Starcraft 1 Siege tanks do fire halfway across the known universe. On a bad day. And we have all these factory upgrades. Wait. We have the Brood War Missile upgrade! Nice! We don't have medics though, right? Wait, we have medics! Wait, why are we in Brood War now? Okay. Hey, I'll take it. So, yeah, I guess we'll go Marine Tank Medic. That means that Stimpak is actually an upgrade, and we have it. All right, that worked fine. I think... I don't know how many guys I'm supposed to get on minerals and how many on gas and how many barracks and how many factories. I don't think I need that many factories. I think that we just kind of slowly push out siege tanks, but we definitely need more more barracks here. Oh, my engineering bay didn't make. Let's uh, get you set up as well. And, yeah, I kind of don't want to get that extra gas geyser, honestly. It's a mineral composition. We actually have a use for minerals now, because we have the medic. And I'm just excited for that. Though the tanks are doing, like, all the work. This is really to make sure that we can deal with marines and- er, deal with, uh, mutas and stuff, though. Oh, we have good upgrades, too. Heck yes. This is amazing. Everything's just going well. We have a lot of tools. We have a lot of upgrades. We have very few Zerg opponents. It's, uh, I, I keep thinking about optical flare, but I never should because it's bad. And particularly against the AI. It's definitely not what beats the AI. Okay, you come down. I'm just gonna hit here. Let's start getting some medics and keep going. Am I gonna win before I get to use my medics? I'm so excited to have them. But our power is too fierce. This is awkward. I mean, if I get cleaned up, I'm not going to complain. I, I want to play with the tools, but I don't want to... I want to hamstring myself because the AI gets crazy in this as you go on. They just spawn a million billion things. Let's 
the spider mine. <laughs> Ground units dying. Well, I really do wish I had the medics now. It'd make life way easier for these marines. We are getting a little bit cleaned up. We can... Bring these on over. Try to keep the tanks safe. And we're just going to parade push forever. There we go. Couple medics. We have more medics than marines. Set this rally, that rally, that rally. We gotta redo some of them. And, whoa! Okay. Uh, good thing I just set all those rally points. Pull everything back. That's what I like to see. Thank you for contesting the AI. See the power. So you just guy up. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of hydras. Pull these guys back into the bunker. These can come around. Stim. Oh, they got it. We're going to take it down. Remember, these are StarCraft 1 Hydras. They're very cheap. But they are quite powerful. And then, uh, it's time to strike back. A science facility. Ugh. This game. You need to rally over here. Tanks are coming out. Is that the rally on down? And let's, uh... Let's go. Oh, no! Oh, Stim Marines are so fast. Get them, boys! Oh, we're supply blocked. I thought I took more damage than that. I guess I didn't. That's what happens when you get your production online. Take down these guys. Come on down here. The medic is so good in StarCraft 1 because it's like the one unit that actually does what you want it to. Oh, I like this. You don't get to play bio that much in Brood War. It's just not very good. Because of the just the way the missions are designed for the most part, you don't fight much Zerg. And bio is great against Zerg. So this is fun. Oh, we can actually target the Chrysalis this time. So we will do just that. Should be it. Crystal's destroyed. No, we, no, we don't. <laughs> we have no extra job to do. What are you talking about? All right, let's do a fourth mission. I know this is crazy. It's unprecedented dealing four missions worth of damage to the Zerg in one thing. But you know what? We got to do it. I hope that we don't... Do we have to destroy the crystals before Kerrigan is born? That would be very funny. All right. All crews stay yep. frosty and keep your eyes peeled for our target. Remember, not only are we up against the Zerg here, but our old pal General Duke may be creeping around too. Let's hope this trip wasn't a big mistake. He is our pal General Duke. He's great. All right. Uh... Oh, we have a long time till the chrysalis hatches, I see. And we got we got our old pal General Duke who's got a huge old base. Jacked up and good to go. Input coordinates. I'm just kind of scouting with the dropship, figuring out what's going on. Usually this is the mission where you get the queen, right? And the queen is really good at figuring out what's going on, so. Jacked up and good to go. I just want a little bit of that action going on. Go ahead, it's me. I think we want some fire bouts on this mission too. A little bit of the same as before, except I have an augmented idea for the strategy. I don't want to lose this though. <laughs> Dropships are expensive, and I seem to only have one of them. 
Okay. Let's get one more medic. You over here, repair. Uh, do we have an engineering bay anywhere? Not that I see. Oh, there's a big, a big thing over there. Gross. Well, there goes part of my strategy. What I was hoping is that we would be able to uh, float barracks in and secure a beachhead that way. Using that fancy Terran ability. But unfortunately, it doesn't really look like we have that. And I've said it before, and I will say it a million times. Dropping in StarCraft 1 kind of sucks. It's really hard to manage. Complete. Yeah, oof. Let's just uh, lift and land this to see if there's anywhere that's viable. No. Big old no. Well. Gonna have to start a dropship. Oh, we have Valkyries too. That's fancy. And we'll start some fire bats. I don't think Valkyries are what we want on this mission, though. The thing is, infantry is so good against Mutas. They added the Valkyrie as a way to check Mutas in Brood War, but they also added the Medic, which just happened to be a really good way to check Mutas in Brood War. So it kind of became a superfluous unit, despite having a very important role due to the power of Mutas before Brood War came out. Additional supply depots required. All right, let's uh, let's just go over and poke. I want to see what they're doing. I want to see how strong they are. Just test the waters a little bit. Plus, I have a feeling they're not going to be super aggressive. Where are they? Oh, they're there. I pull these back. Okay, they do have a lot of sunks over here. We're gonna dive. Because our ally is diving as well. So we might as well fight together. Okay. Yeah, uh, our ally just kind of helped a lot there. That was great to see. Can we take this down? Alright, we definitely cannot win the mission with this. However, we can uh, just use it as a nice secured little place and take down this hatch. Grab our engineering bay and... Yeah, if we're just going to constantly be able to take down their stuff as it spawns, that is really what we're looking for. The medic is so good with its sustain that I think we'll be fine. And I'm ready to ship a whole new group of friends over to us. Another unload. That area is also unpathable by buildings. I'm really just looking for a point that we could uh, utilize that building flying. It feels like it'd be really good on this mission, but the mod maker thought of it, which is a darn shame. Thinking should be a crime. Medic's still medicking. Actually, we've lost a lot here. All right, well, we have another base just like right here. Just keep taking stuff down. We have two, two. No wonder we're so good. All right, let's get some more barracks and then build another drop ship. Ooh, that's rough. That might be it. Yup. There it goes. They finally had enough, but I cannot be unhappy with the progress that we've made. 16 minutes. Build, build. 
Looks like my ally is spending a bunch of time working on this base, which I thought about. However, I thought that it wouldn't be that useful. There's a base down here as well. I don't know. I feel like I'm right. They're wrong. This base kind of is bad, though. <laughs> it's like really, really subpar. Okay, bring these over. I don't know what that was. Good attempt. And do we wait for plus three attack? That is kind of the real question here. I'm thinking a resounding, yeah. A plus three timing, just land everything, have a good amount of stuff going on, and hit them with a really, really solid burst of bio, dropped by probably about four or maybe five dropships. That sounds hard to deal with. How much space do you take? Good. And we don't need ghosts because they don't have anything lockdownable, and that's kind of what you want the ghost for. They're getting a lot of mutas on the field, which we do have to we have to respect, but they're zero zero, which means that if we hit that critical mass, they're just gonna be shredded. They're gonna be very embarrassed about what they attempted to do and how they failed. Did someone page me? That's way too many medics. Actually, it's a great number of medics, I just don't need any more. It's good to have the medics first as well, simply because they need uh, time to regenerate their energy. I'm not going past this. Oh, okay. They are getting a little bit aggressive here. And I am really happy to see that. This is free value for us. A little bit of healing after that first stim, and then we can take this stuff down. Oh, didn't bring the medics. And yet we didn't lose a single guy. Alright. One, two, three, four. This might be a good time to go. Yeah. How close to plus three are we? Not even close. Uh... I still think it's the right call. Unload what we can right there. They don't have anything here. Check everybody to make sure they're actually unloading. Hey, everybody unloaded properly. This is a Christmas miracle. Alright boys, you here, you here, and you there, and let's go! Nice Scourge. That's gonna help. Start some more fire bats. And I actually need to build more depots because I kind of thought we'd be losing stuff. This stair is really annoying, but it's not actually gonna impact the results of the mission. It's just going to ignore or er, uh, annoy me until they die. Which really is most of the time with Ensnare, let's be completely honest, it's not the greatest spell that's ever existed. In StarCraft 2 it would be a completely fine spell, because of how fast it lands. It'd be very analogous to Fungal Growth, but the attack speed reduction instead, but uh, here... Uh, it's, a, it's in a world of uber spells, and it is not one. Plus three attack, and I think it is time to win the mission. Get a couple of these guys to just be firing at whatever. While the other ones focus down the Chrysalis real fast. Man, Zerg needs a buff, dude. <laughs> so the Zerg are here for you, darling? <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. Shut up. I love, <laughs> I love the regular Kerrigan popping out. That's so good. Oh my goodness, that is funny. <laughs> oh, this is a fun mod. I keep saying it, but it really is. It's just silly. And it doesn't take itself super serious, and that is great. My friends, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. That's going to be done. We can't go for a full five. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.